All right, so what's up, guys? Today we're gonna be reviewing uh, my my two twelves L seven Rs. I got them about five months ago, and uh, I think they're high. So we're gonna, this is how it sounds a little bit from the outside. It, you can't really tell that much. See, I got, I got it facing inside. up a little bit uh let's see oh it's on the other side well first we'll start right here so i went ahead and flipped the flip this my subs these are uh two 12 inch l7 r's that kicker obviously we got uh i think these are like the newest ones i'm not sure but they got like the red stitching kicker on top and they take up pretty much all my space in the trunk uh, I don't really put nothing back here, but sometimes put my backpack like to the side. But I don't like blocking nothing here because I don't want nothing to touch it. So in the trunk right here, uh, everything's being powered by a, a Hyphonics amp. This thing is uh, 1800 watts. Turn off the music. And um, this amp, uh, uh, it's not my personal choice i wouldn't i don't think i would buy this amp again because i don't know i just feel like there's better ones out there this is an 1800 watt amp and like it hits good but it's just not my preference and all these wires there weren't they weren't really put up nice because we installed this ourselves and right here we also got a epicenter for the for the latino music so latino music sounds pretty good too but this is what i got just my my 1800 watt hyphonics amp um, right now it's not hot at all it's barely even warm but i know on some days other days when i felt it it was like burning hot for like no reason and one thing i do like about this is like say when it does get too hot it'll just shut everything down it'll shut every like the complete system will just turn off so i do have the seats down right now and like it looks terrible all the wires but once I have the seats up and you can't see nothing, you see, you, you can't see any kind of wire. All, all the wires are, they ran right here underneath the seat, through all the here, coming across. And then they go under the seat here, and just on the, to the other side of the seat down here. And I did my best here, trying to hide them. But like I was saying, when the system shuts off, right here, you see this is for the this is for the Hyphonics amp, and um, you see it's blue, and once it overheats, it turns into a red color, and like it won't it won't play anymore. And then this is the epicenter. Never had any kind of problems with the epicenter. Also, if you guys notice, I have my stock radio here. Uh, keep open the trunk, press the button, just push it down. I have my stock radio, and that's uh, something else that I bought. <laughs> I'll show you guys. So usually when people buy aftermarket like systems like this, they gotta they usually change out their um, they usually change out the their stereo as well. But I have oh, you can't really see it. This box right here. Oh shoot, can't see this box. I don't really know what it's called. I don't really know what it does, but I know it allows you to keep your stock radio right here. This little box. But yeah, that's that. I don't even know how much that was. I just gave them my money and they took it. No questions asked, they just took it. Guys, one more time for the outside. This is what the trunk closed. This is it 
it for the, the video guys. Um, I was just reviewing my my speakers and uh, just kind of showed you guys my setup a little bit. I couldn't stand not having a system anymore, so this is what I got for now. I do wanna, I do plan on getting a truck and I would have a, I will have a better system than this right now. And uh, that's it for now, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe.